five, four. Hey everybody, it's your friend Ferb Jr. here. I am training my ear using the Perfect Ear app, so I'm not sure where I left off. Interval comparison. Major and minor sevenths, so this should be different. Okay. Perfect ear, major, and minor sevenths. And what are they? Ascending with a common tone. Ascending with a common tone. Attempt. Number one. Okay, let's do it. Da -da. Da -da. It's the first one. Major seventh and a minor seventh. Correct. A sharp to. I don't know what the hell that symbol means. Okay. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. The second one's bigger, it's a major seventh. First one's bigger. made it a hundred a hundred percent one hundred percent let's go over to the splash screen oh let's see what we're gonna do next uh, I think it's kind of fun after I do like a exercise to look through the app and see if there's new stuff let's look at my stats I just completed an exercise okay probably doesn't get don't I don't go nuts on this there's like a book introduction to scales uh, there's a lot here maybe I'll just do a little bit of reading introduction to intervals an interval is simply the distance between two notes or pitches if you have ever played any two notes on a musical instrument, then you have played intervals. When you play or sing any two notes on your instrument, you have created and used an interval. There are 12 notes in an octave, therefore there are 13 simple intervals. The name for each of the intervals will be discussed a little, a little later in this section. Types of intervals. Harmonic interval. Two notes that are played simultaneous or at the same time are a harmonic interval. Melodic interval, two notes that are played separately or one after another, uh, one after the other. That's good to know. There are two characteristics of an interval that are used to determine its identity. How long is this? It's pretty long. There are two characteristics of an interval that are used to determine its identity. Quantity and quality. Quantity. The quantity of an interval indicates the distance between two notes. For example... Consider the notes A and C. The distance between these notes is 3, A, B, C. So the quantity of this interval is 3, or a third. When you consider the quantity of an interval, 
we don't consider the accidental sharps and flats. Therefore, the quantity of the interval between A and C sharp is still 3, or a third. In order to determine the quantity of an interval, you just have to count the notes between the, give, the two given notes, and also include both of those two given notes. Melodic interval. Thir melodic third interval, A and C. Well, uh, figure, figure one, melodic interval, that's right here. Uh, A and C, harmonic third interval, A and C. So melodic would be sequential, harmonic is at the same time, like a chord. A and C, harmonic and third interval, A and C. Quality, the quality of an interval is determined by the number of half steps between the two notes. In order to determine the quality of an interval, we have to consider the accidental sharps and flats. For example, play the notes A and C, then play the notes A and C sharp. Both of these are third intervals by definition. However, each group of two notes sounds different, correct? That's due to the quality of the intervals. The first group, A and C, is called a minor interval, minor third. And the second group, A and C sharp, is called a major interval, major third. The following terms are used to describe intervals quality. Major. The term, this term is used to describe the following quantities. Seconds, thirds, sixths, and sevenths. Major contains a half step more than its minor counterpart. For example, the interval between C and A is, major, is a major sixth, M6. Minor. This term is used to describe the following quantities. Seconds, thirds, sixths, and sevenths. Minor contains a half step less than a major interval. For example, the interval between C and A flat is, a, is minor sixth. Minor sixth, M6. Lowercase m6. Perfect. Three. Perfect. Perfect. This term is used to describe the following quantities. Unison, P1. Fourths. P4, Papa 4, fifths, Papa 5, and octave, 8 Victor Alpha. For example, the interval between C and F is perfect fourth, P4, Papa 4. When two of the same notes are played, then the quantity of the interval is said to be unison. A unison occurs when two different instruments play the same note at the same time. However, on some instruments, the same note can be played at two different locations at the same time. For example, stringed instruments such as guitar, violin, mandolin, etc. can perform unisons on the same instrument at the same time. Diminished. 1. Diminished. Any interval quantity, with the exception of the unison, can be diminished. This, contains, this quality contains a half step less than a minor or a perfect interval. For example, the interval between C and G flat it's called the diminished fifth, delta five, or dim fifth. Augmented. Any interval quantity can be augmented. This quality contains a half step more than a major or perfect interval. For example, the interval between C and F sharp is augmented fourth, aug four or plus four. An augmented and a diminished interval is basically the same, that is, they sound identical, but have different note spellings and di different functions within the key or scale. The main difference is the quantity an augmented interval occurs when a perfect fourth, Papa 4, is raised by a half step. For example, in the key of C, the distance between the first note, C, and fourth note, F, is a perfect fourth, P4. When we raise the F to an F sharp, the interval becomes an augmented fourth, plus 4. And in the same fashion, the distance between the first note C and the fifth note G is a perfect fifth, Papa 5. When we lower the G to a G flat, the interval becomes a diminished fifth, D5. Naming of an interval. Boy, this is fun. The steps to name an interval are 1. Determine the quality of the interval. 2. Determine the quality of the quantity of the interval and determine the quality of the interval. The name of the interval is written as quality followed by quantity. 
let's look at the relationship between the notes F and E. The quantity of the interval is seventh. The quality of the interval is major. Therefore, the distance between F and E is a major seventh. The following table shows the number of half steps in each interval. Okay, I'm not going to read all that. I will read the end of it. This concludes our discussion about intervals. I hope you have enjoyed it and have developed a general understanding regarding the concepts of intervals, their construction and usage. Intervals are the building blocks of scales, chords, arpeggios, etc. Therefore, the understanding of intervals will make it easier for you to grasp the concepts of scales, arpeggios, etc. Okay, so we're done with that. That's the first time I've ever tried to do that. Let's go over here. Write in theory, intro, introduction to intervals. Okay, so we read a little theory. We did a little interval comparison. Uh, now it's time to say thank you. I'm going to say hi in the chat. Hi. Hi. Hey, guys. And see who was here. We had viewers, another TTV viewer, Industrial Parasites, and let's, let's, un, let's do this underscore music. God, I can't talk right now. I want to say thanks for being here, and I will be sure to check you guys out later. Bye-bye.